Hey guys, what's going on guys? It's your boy Review Fanatic and uh, I want to welcome you guys back to another video. Uh, this isn't a review or an update or a, a vlog or trailer reaction or TF talk or anything. This is, uh, I just want to talk about something that has been bothering me for a while and excuse me if my room's a bit messy, I've just been busy working, trying to tidy up the room. The shelf is a bit messy so dusty up. Um, so yeah guys, I want to talk about something and um that has been bothering me uh, for a good long while now um but recently i've gotten news well philippe philippe oliveira if you don't know him we do videos together tf talk if you know him um he recently got some news about jim parsons leaving big bang theory and um we both love the Big Bang Theory, we're huge fans of the Big Bang Theory. And my favourite character is Leonard, his favourite character is Sheldon. But um, there's news that Jim Parsons will not be returning for an eighth season of the Big Bang Theory. Um, and why? I do not know. Apparently this is saying that um, they don't, the directors don't have enough, or CBS or Fox or whatever they're called, they don't have enough money to pay the actors, so they've got to get rid of some of them. And that pisses me off, because some of the actors, or actresses, um, especially Jim Parsons, Jim Parsons or Sheldon Cooper, um, is the most important character in the, in the whole, um, in the whole series. Um, why? Because he's a hothead. <laughs> he's a crazy guy that, you know, is just... I don't really know how to explain it. He's a unique character. Everybody loves him. And for him to be leaving just makes the series dead. Makes it like the series is not worth watching it anymore. Now, I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't be saying this, but it is true, guys. If you are a Big Bang Theory fan then you should know that I am pretty pissed off at this news. And I think this has been happening for every single series that these companies have been doing to How Much Your Mother you know, got cancelled, um, Tomorrow People got cancelled, Firefly got cancelled. All these shows get cancelled. Hold up. Yeah. All these shows get cancelled just because so they can keep the money. Or for a reason that they don't get enough views doesn't matter still keep it in you're wasting i know you're wasting it's wasting money on 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 shows that don't people don't even watch but for the people that do watch it um like big bang theory big bang theory i'm gonna show you how devoted i am to this this cost me a lot of money but i have all six seasons of the big bang theory but i got a bunch of t-shirts from big bang theory and i've got a bazinga mug from Sheldon saying Bazinga, and look how important Sheldon is. He's at the front cover of this D of this DVD case, and you know the girl, the two girls go at the back, and it's Penny and Leonard. Yeah, you basically get my point. So it really pisses me off to see how, why Fox or CBS or CW or whatever, whoever sponsored these guys, wanna get rid of Sheldon Cooper. It it makes the series so bad that the people won't watch it. And then, the show gets cancelled. Like every other show that we've seen. Tomorrow People, great show. But then it gets cancelled for some odd reason. Um, How I Met Your Mother, a hit comedy show. You can go to every single reviews um, reviews of, this, of that series. And you will see that is the best comedy series of all time. Or not all time, but of the decade or something like that. And then it gets cancelled. I really don't understand why Fox or C CBS or these companies would do such a thing to these people, you know, to, to be entertained. The point of TV is to entertain people. Entertain people in a way that you won't entertain yourself. So entertain someone in a serious way with a documentary. Entertain someone funny with a comedy. With a, make them cry with a romantic or make them you know pumped up for an action movie that's the point of TV but that you can't you can't entertain people if these shows keep on getting cancelled and then you have nothing to watch on TV literally right now 
since how I met your mother and tomorrow people have gone, I haven't been watching anything on TV. Big Bang Theory is on, when, but when Big Bang Theory isn't on, there's no point of watching it. And, you know, you got other shows, It's just, by the way, it's just the repeats. It's just repeats of episodes, which I don't mind because they're funny nonetheless. But, you know, it's bringing new shows, bringing new shows that can take the place. So like that, you know, you don't have to keep watching the same episode. Keep watching the same episode. If you watch it again, you might memorize the lines and say it yourself. Which I do that sometimes. <laughs> I do that with some uh, Family Guy episodes. Speaking of that, I'm guessing they're probably going to have to cancel Family Guy as well because Seth MacFarlane's not going to be doing the voices. I I'm sorry. If you see this, Fox or CBS, please keep these keep these actors you need to see they just cancel it without finding a way to deal with it that's what i'm that's what all i'm saying they don't find a solution they just get rid of it nonetheless and that really pisses me off nonetheless i'd say other people would agree with me other people wouldn't but whatever this is my opinion i'm saying that if jim parsons leaves the big bang theory that's it. Big Bang Theory isn't hardly going to be watched by anybody. I'm still going to watch it because I love the series. I love the series. I, I absolutely love the characters, the story, the comedy. But I think I will enjoy it less without Jim Parsons being in it. It's just I can't handle the fact that the most important character, Sheldon Cooper, will not be arriving for another season. And... This same thing, I had the same feeling when it came to How I Met Your Mother when it got cancelled. I watched the last episode of the season. Okay, new season. We see we see him having a kid during that season. You know, see him, see Ted having a kid, at seeing the girlfriend, Robin and Barney do whatever they want to do. No. Last episode, it went through something so quick. Barney, spoiler alert if you haven't seen it. Barney, Robin, divorce after a year. Ted, Ted and the his 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 girlfriend have have um have two kids without getting married. Okay, I don't care. The, the girlfriend dies. The girlfriend dies, and then when when the adults are grown, Ted is an old, weary. Well, not too old, but when he's you know old, he's an elderly, older man. He calls up Robin because she's single. Robin, and Robin is a hit. Uh, news anchor, Marshall's a judge. Um, it's just, everything goes so quickly without us fully analysing it and fully understanding it. And I just don't like that. But that's all I'm saying, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please take with consideration why I'm angry. Um, please take with consideration how I feel about one of my favorite shows losing its best characters and how Fox, CBS, CW do the same thing every single time to every single series, whether it's big, whether it's a big hit or it's a small hit. They still do the same thing every time. If this, if this gets out of YouTube, for the people that see it, take, please take to consideration, guys. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.